what's up babes it's curly so victoria back with yet another video if you guys are new here hi welcome to my channel if you've already been subscribed thanks for coming back so in this video i'm actually going to be talking about how i bossed up in 30 days and how i brought my manifesting and law of attraction to to become my reality opposed to just becoming something that i dreamt of and something that i talked about cut it out bricks um so long story short i am a firm believer of you can have anything that you desire you just gotta put the work in nobody can tell curly to victoria that she can't do this or have this or whatever if she's gonna put in the work if you're gonna tell me that i can't have it baby i'm gonna go harder to get it okay um and i'm not doing that for anybody but myself so let me tell you this is how i did it in summary i'm not even going to sugarcoat and i'm not even going to sit here and make it like it's a bigger tactic than it really was i'm not gonna sit here and act like it was some magic recipe i'm not i'm gonna tell you exactly what got me to boss up heavier in 30 days and how i shifted upward and shifted my focus and shifted my vision and shifted everything about myself to get exactly where i was supposed to be so one thing that i would tell you guys if you have not experienced that feeling of like elevate needing to elevate and feeling like I am so close to evolving. I'm so close to leveling up. I'm so close to bossing up and being at the next phase. And I have to get there. Like, I don't know what I have to do, but I have to do it and I have to get there. And if I don't know what I have to do, then I have to stay up until I can figure out what I need to do to successfully put myself in position to win. I was having so many sleepless nights. I was having moments that I would just get in my car and go drive. It didn't matter if it was nighttime, daytime, morning time. It didn't matter when. I would drive. I would meditate. I would think. I would sit in parking lots. I would drive around. I would do anything that would get my mental peace going. Um, I was making phone calls to the Department of State, Department of Business, the Department of Realtors. I was talking to everybody, trying to figure out whether or not my vision was going to be fulfilled now or it be fulfilled in six months or be fulfilled in a year from now let me start thinking about if you want to boss up you want to level up then start finding out what you need to do to get to that next step don't sit there and feel like mm, i need to get there but i'm not ready to be there so because i'm not ready to be there i'm not going to do the research to figure out what it's going to take to get there because in researching and figuring out what you need to do and bossing up to do those things you'll actually find that you're able to obtain those goals a lot quicker a lot more easily if you figure out the steps chronologically write them down put them into some type of paper or an excel spreadsheet set the goals do whatever you need to do you will find that you will be able to obtain those goals if you just boss up level up so you guys know i'm big on reading so i have books right beside me i have one that i will teach you how to be rich i have millionaire mindset i have um or the millionaire mind I have so many books and then I keep a lot of journals and I told you guys I'm using this one as well but this is my everyday planner I keep a lot of like notebooks planners pens books because I'm forever cut it out bricks I'm forever educating myself and bossing up so I would write out my goals I would literally like figure out what do I need to do wake up in the morning you guys know that one of the steps to bossing up and getting into position that I'm trying to you know striving to be in the first step that i did was say what do you want to accomplish in the next within this next year next three months next six months whatever it is what is it that by the end of next by this time next year because i kept saying by this time next year in july july 1st i kept saying by this time next year i need to be in my brokerage by this time next year i need to do this by this time next year i need to do this the daily affirmations so like i said i knew that i would have my office space in august and in september i was able to secure it for sure on the first and these are things that i had already pre-planned pre-wrote out and tried to figure out what are we going to do to get there when i decided to figure out what i needed to do then i figured out first i said okay what do you need to do no let me back up what is it that you're trying to do second what is it that you need to do third what are you going to do to get to the things that you want and need to do and that's when i said okay well we're going to integrate corporate america back into my life we're going to use that as leverage it's going to help me get back into a positive routine so that on the days that my entrepreneurship feels a little up and down at least corporate america will keep me leveraged um as far as it will keep me balanced as far as staying on routine and schedule but also i can use that as leverage when i'm getting my checks from there i could be paying off credit factors i could be using that money to also help me to leverage the business 
I don't believe if I had not gone back to corporate America at the time I decided to go back to corporate America, then I feel like it would have been a little bit more difficult to obtain all of the things I'm obtaining in the same time frame. Everything is happening at the same time for me right now, which is also another stress point. But I must cut it out, Briggs. He in there tearing stuff up, but I don't want to cut my video to. Hey, please cut it out. I don't want to keep um, ending my videos and coming back. So I'm just going to have to keep occasionally yelling if y'all don't mind he in the other room um and bricks is my bricks is my puppy if you guys don't know he's nine months he'll be 10 months this month but he's in there acting up um anyway i was like okay you know at one point it was just like the emotions of oh, i want to get to the next level i need to be here i'm on an agent level i'm trying to get to a broker i'm trying to do x y and z i gotta pass this test i gotta do this i gotta do that and the stressors were on an all-time high then it's like recently I crossed over that that hiatus like I got over that point and that difficult point and now I'm in a space where okay I've overcome that difficult space but now it's starting to be everything is due at the same time everything is happening at the same time now granted when I look back three months six months from now it's all going to be balanced back out because obviously everything happening now is going to end up having an expiration date as to the stress of it right so I was just feeling like, dang, everything is happening now at the same exact time. So the pressure of having to go to corporate America, be there for eight hours, go back home, go work on your business, wake up early, work on your business, then go into corporate America. The stress was up there. So, and it's still up there. I'm not going to lie, but it's a different feeling when you feel stressed out from things that are beyond your control. And then it's another feeling when you feel stressed from career driven things. It's like, hmm. It might not be a good feeling, but you know it's all going to work out. So that's what I started feeling. So once I discovered what is it you're trying to do, what are you going to do to get there? Um, that's like I said, when I went to corporate America and I said, and I remember my words, hey, I would like to come back. I called a couple days before we got into July and I said, hey, I want to come back. My goal, obviously, um, somebody who's really, really like, a major factor in the company for me a key person and also literally um who is you know a part of the brand was just like okay so what's the reason you would want to come back now because I'm always like there's times I'm coming back there's times I'm leaving there's so we talked about it and I said look I want to use this as leverage I want to eventually have my brokerage I might be here to the end of summer I might be here past summer I'm not exactly sure but that is what I want to do I want to leverage what I'm doing with working where I'm at and I, like I want to do what I'm doing but also use y'all's job as leverage to get to where I'm trying to get to um such as bro getting the brokerage marketing material things like that that I would need to start growing my business well fast forward we get to my start date being July 1st shortly after me getting there I started doing the things that I wrote out on my goals do this on the credit do that do this and I start checking those things off once I check those things off it started to get better, it started to get easier in the sense of like, okay, at least I know this is gonna be due, but instead of like being an entrepreneur only where you're like, mm, I might get paid on this day, I might not get paid on this day, at least the stableness of the job was able to be like, okay, at least you're gonna be producing, you'll be able to get the, co the coins real quick. So then I just used those methods and I said, okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go get me a da 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 da, -da and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then boom, now I have an office space, boom. Now I'm actually a in the works of doing what I'm doing and it everything is happening the way it's supposed to happen. So when I say within 30 days, it felt like I had it all together. Every single day I was tasked with something. I would put task for myself, like to-do list. Um, when you go back to corporate America, people make the mistake as entrepreneurs, as business owners to forget about their vision and they start getting caught up with where they went back to because it becomes comfortable. It becomes easy, but they forget about what it is that they have going on. That's one thing that I told me myself I would not let myself do because for me to go back to corporate America and forget what it is I'm working on would mean that I'm not sticking to the vision and we can't have it. So I went back um, and I'm still there. I'm not officially done. I'm supposed to be done this week, but who knows? There might be a... I might not be done, basically. We'll find out by the end of the week, but at least for weekly hours, open availability, that's about to stop. So we'll see. Mm. 
so I went back or whatever and it's been good I've been producing they've been doing good <clears throat> so basically that's pretty much where I ended up being and I said no this is what we gotta do this is what we gotta accomplish I don't care what it's gonna take we're gonna get it we're gonna do it and this is what it's gonna be and that's what happened like I would say somewhere around almost August I knew that I would be having a space like the end of July I kid you not the end of July I filled out a portion of my um retainer deposit for where I'm going to be having my office August went past I paid in August as well and September came and I paid the first month of rent so since July within 30 days I knew that I went from eventually I want to have my office space saying that right before my first shift on July 1st to by July 29th I'm filling out papers to secure a spot so when I tell you like the vision I didn't know I would be getting my office space as quickly as I did I didn't know that it was gonna I was gonna start from working from home and then eventually get an office space and then eventually and then it just rolled into place the way that it needed to be and then I you know did my applications and things that I needed to do they got approved there's still one more thing I need to do um, in conjunction with everything I'm doing but everything was approved everything was done so when that happened, I was like, yo, yo, God is really worth it. So I, um, now it's like, uh, it's not that because I've secured what I want that I'm like, deuces, gotta go. It's more so that my schedule is not going to really soup what it is that they may need. So I'm going to try to see if there's any way that I could still stay there potentially and just make it benefit for me, but also benefit for them in whatever way. Um... And if it can't, then hey, got to cut my losses in terms of scheduling, but not my losses in terms of like family because they, they, they're they forever going to be dear to me. Even when I become my most successful stuff, I'm not going to forget them because it's like when I needed y'all the most, y'all came through. When I thought that my leak, the leak in my house was so bad that I probably would have had to move somewhere, they came through and said I can come back even though I stayed for a week and then decided that I didn't want to stay because I didn't have to move. Then I came back now. It's so the relationship, the rapport, the everything, they will forever be dear to me. Um, but within 30 days, your girl was doing what she said she was going to do. And now here it is. We're in September. That's been two months ago, two and a half months almost that I said what I said. And I've made tremendous progress, tremendous growth. Everything is just happening the way it's supposed to happen. I can't get upset because everything is literally flowing the way it's supposed to flow. Like, I'm I'm super excited. So, I'm supposed to be retwisting my hair. I should retwist it tonight so I could sleep in the clips and have my hair retwisted by tomorrow. But, girl, I don't know. I might do it tomorrow. Anyway, so the boss up has been real. That's how I was able to go in 30 days, do what I said because literally I set the goals. You don't have to have this calendar, this journal, this notebook. There's no magic potion. You just need to get serious about you. There's no reason why you are in 2020, 22. I, wait a minute, I said too many 20s. There's no reason why you're in 2022 and you're still playing with yourself. Like you should be betting on yourself. Stop playing with your potential. Please stop playing with your potential. Because if you play with your potential, don't you think that automatically gives other people the right to play with your potential? If you don't see your worth and you don't see your value, wh why do you expect them to see your worth and value? Huh? Why do you expect them to see how valuable or how much of an asset you are if you don't even see yourself as an asset? If you don't even see yourself as your fullest potential? How can you be mad at him for sitting here calling you goofy when you're playing yourself like a goofy? So in the end of the day, stop sleeping on yourself. Like you can do anything you want. Not everybody's set to be an entrepreneur. Not everybody's set to be a leader. Not everybody's set to be, but whatever it is you want out of this life, go get it. Stop sleeping on yourself. Like stop. You think I'm the only person in the world who's become a real estate broker? Do you think I'm the only person in the world who's gonna be going through these challenges that I'm going through? No, but it's like, it's what I've always wanted to do. And if I know that this was always a part of my vision, then I'm gonna do it. Like I'm not, you gotta realize that it doesn't matter how many people are doing what you're doing. They're not you. They're not gonna do it like you. So no matter how saturated that market is, that that market still needs a you. We're all one of one. There's not another Crayley. So there's not another one of you. So you've gotta put out your best. You've gotta do your best. Like regardless of what people think. 
do you think the people who were told you'll never be anything you'll be dumb you won't graduate you won't you know make a difference in the world do you think those people who became millionaires and billionaires do you think that they use that as in something to internalize in a negative way or do you think they use that as fuel to you know lunge them forward in what it is they're doing because in the end of the day if you want to do more then be more and if you want to be more do more in the end of the day you only got one life to live here on this earth so you need to live it to your fullest potential if you don't know what you want to do with your life and you feel like well curly sir I'm not as confident as you or well, Carlisa, I haven't discovered my passion and my purpose in my life. Then I encourage you to use this time of your life this season to start to seek those things out through meditation, through activities, through figuring out what it is you need to do to be successful. Do those things so that you can get yourself in a great space so that you can be your best self. And if you are like me, you are confident already. You do know your passions and your purpose, but you're just not fulfilling them. Then stop sitting on your gifts. When you sit on your gifts and your talents, you will lose them. So stop sitting on your gift. You're sitting here praying for more money, but why are you praying for more money when you're sitting on your gifts? You're saying, well, God, I've asked you. And if you're not Christian, you're, you're speaking to your deity. You're saying, hey, well, I, I, I keep asking for, to make more money. I'm going to work every day. I'm da 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 and the whole time God or whoever, whomever you serve is saying, I've given you the resources, you're not using them. You crying about money, but you can sing. Why are you not doing, you crying about money, but you can do poetry. You crying about money, but you know how to, you know, you know, basically, and you know how to do hair. So you know how to do hair, but you're not doing hair. So do you really want more money or do you just want to keep whining? So a lot of times we're given the resources for what we need. We have the resources. We are the resource. But a lot of times we overlook ourselves. And that's where your confidence, your talent, and abilities have to be able to sink in. You know how many people tell me, oh, you're multifaceted. No, you know how many people tell me, oh, focus on one thing when I'm a multifaceted woman? If I focused on one thing, I would not be where I'm at right now. If I focused on one thing and I didn't use one thing to leverage another or I didn't use all my gifts and talents to encompass something else you know like I wouldn't be where I'm at and I can't speak for anybody else's life but I know it's through my multifaceted um, mindset it's through my able to my ability to be able to get a lot of things done productively it's through my tenacity it's through all of these different positive characteristics about me that has gotten me to this place that's not to say, oh, I didn't have somebody who was encouraging me along the way, or that's not to knock the positivity that I've had surrounded in my life. That's just to say, being multifaceted is what's got me where I'm at. Being multifaceted is what's getting me to where I'm going. So for me, I'm not going to sit here and take somebody saying, oh, you need to focus on one thing. Just because you're one track minded and you need to focus on one thing, do that. Now, for me, when I, when I look at focusing, I think about which one of the things that I'm good at can I use to leverage the other things never do I look at it as oh you only can do one thing no it's like which thing can you do focus on do it well and use it to leverage for your other things and that is how I live my life but if you're somebody who's like oh well I only can do one thing I can only then do that not everybody's one track minded one track minded people have to stop sitting here getting upset with people who are multifaceted and vice versa so yeah that's just my opinion um oh that's what i was supposed to be doing y'all i i think i dropped my necklace today i don't think it's in my it is in my bra okay because something told me today i said nothing has dropped from underneath my shirt so my necklace is probably chilling along my bra and here it is found it because i'm like it must not have clipped all the way earlier but it, I knew, I knew that it didn't drop out of my shirt. So I'm like, where could it have gone? And then I never checked my shirt. It was just sitting here, right in between the chest. <sighs> girl, that's how you know you got the girls when you didn't even know it was there. Anyway, uh, anyway, today has just been, you know, like literally a productive day so far. I've 
been able to go to Play-Dohs, get some things done, which I talked about that stuff in the vlog. But long story short, you've got to figure out what it is that you want in your life and you have to go about it and do it. So I think I'm gonna take me a bath. I kinda wanna take a bath now. But then again, I kinda don't cause I just wanna work on business stuff. So I did make myself some coffee. So I might grab a pen and a pencil, I mean, and a marker and start reading. I've read a good amount of this book over time. I can't remember if I read the whole thing, but sometimes I like to pull back my books that I've had for some time and just reread material or spend the night where I'm just like indulged, immersed in a lot of my material and educate myself. So every single day since the time I've gone back to corporate America, I've been productive. Every day I was doing something. So like this past week, it was almost like one day I was submitting an application. The next day, it was getting accepted. The next day, I was submitting an application. Two days later, it got it. Well, the next day, it got rejected. Then I had to submit it again. Then it got accepted. Then I was sitting here picking up keys to the office space, paying dues. Then the next thing I was doing was opening up a business account. But all of this stuff is happening simultaneously while I'm going to corporate America. One day, I had a shift where right when I got off, I went to go meet to go see the office space. Like, these were things that were taking place. Like I was working a full six to eight hours and then right when I was done, never went home, went straight to go see the space. Once I was done seeing the space, went straight to go hustle some other stuff. So I literally set everything up to be like the start date on the time and the timing in which I would have obtained my office. And now everything is in alignment. Now I still have to work corporate America this weekend. So I know it's gonna be a rough week. However, rough is in, is busy this week for me. Um, but everything is literally strategically done i'm setting the goals i'm writing the goals out and i'm following my goals as a guide so a lot of times I'm sorry all the storage filled up but a lot of times i put myself on a 30 60 90 day like um routine and say hey you need to do this you need to do that um within 30 days you need to accomplish this by 60 days you need to accomplish this by 90 days now we're in september um this is kind of like my reset this is my boss up my everything so we've got september october november december like really three months but i'm counting it as four to basically boss up and finish out the year and then january comes great so if you go hard every quarter of the year you don't have to worry about trying to overdo it in the last quarter you just stick to the task and and do the roles so that's basically what i'm doing i would say since i show you guys how i boss up and become the better version of myself on my channel i'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all that this month the month of september my focal point i want to give you guys three things that i'm going to be aiming to do so that by the time we hit october i've accomplished these goals or i'm able to give you an update the first thing that i want to do and this is in no specific order is i want to finish part one of my post licensing education for my brokerage stuff because remember i told you guys you got two years to do it but for the school that i'm doing it through the expiration is actually a year from the date that you buy the course and a year from that first part would be the end of this month so I'm gonna do that that's number one number two my goal is to uh, come up with like a routine for my new office endeavors so even if I'm going to the office and I don't have clients yet to really work with much I need to be in the office specific hours specific days so that your girl can be working on business stuff now to all for the in the name of the brokerage the third thing that i want to really work on is i want to read some books i would like to read at least three books this month but outside of reading the three books i want to start getting my um slp which is a standard operation procedure i want to get that together um let's just say five things and then um i don't want to say that it has to be completed but i definitely want to say a good majority of it needs to be done because we have to start thinking, how would my brokerage be operating? And then how is it gonna operate when I start bringing people in? My biggest thing for owning a brokerage is not about, oh, it's gonna make you super wealthy or oh, da da da. I have the ability to impact people. I'm already a leader by nature. So to be able to influence people in a positive way and to see those same people be able to eat and boss up, that's, that's, that's going to be big to me. I want my entire team to be winning, not just me. What do you look like if you're winning but your team isn't? Something's not adding up. So I'm excited about being able to lead um, like that because it's like, Briggs, cut it out! Being able to lead um, 
in that manner to where you're leading to see other people do well and to boss up and be great that's going to be a good thing for me so i'm excited about that i think that was the third thing i just said so then the fourth thing that i would say i want to have the entire house like cleaned i'm talking about things dropped off to the goodwill things dropped off to play-dohs the house like i wouldn't say my innovations that i want to incorporate as far as design have to be done but as far as actual livable conditions looking great i want that to be accomplished the fifth thing that i would say is to be doing my doctoral courses um and writing out the schedule for that i've got a lot even when i start going to my office space i'm going to start integrating my cut it out I step into the other room and he start acting up y'all so i'm sorry for yelling but he acts up when i step into y'all might hear the crate keep scooting as i'm making this video because he's in there cutting up and the door is open like he cutting up because i'm not in there and then when i come in here he's gonna act like well what's going on the next thing that i would say is oh out before i get to the fifth thing i would like to say finish saying what i was saying so when I go into the office to work on business, Bricks, you better cut it out because I'm coming in there in a second. I want to be able to integrate my, uh, like, during the first part of my day, schedule block while I'm in the office too. So yeah, work on real estate, branding and brokerage stuff. But I also want to be able to work on like my, um, whatever my assignments are due for my doctoral program because I am doing a doctoral program, which I've been a part of for a while but it is um i'm doing my doctoral in strategic leadership with the focus in entrepreneurship so as i'm doing my brokerage i'm also simultaneously a doctor a doctoral student so it's 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 a lot it's a lot of a lot right but you got to do the things that you don't want to do to get to where you have to be and then you also have to do the things that one day you know you're not about to do i know one day i'm not going to want to be further in my education not to say that it's not worth it, but I just don't think I'll have it in me to want to keep. I'm schooled out. And as much as people keep saying, or you say that, maybe you further your education. You have to understand when you understand your story in your life, there's some things that you feel like you need to accomplish, not for other people, but for yourself. And then also you have to understand, like, baby, my ancestors and, and, and those who've come before me, my ancestors, they, they haven't, you know, some of them did not, weren't afforded education rights. I wouldn't say rights, wasn't, wasn't afforded education um, at all. And it's like they weren't being taught, they weren't being educated. And I, of course, believe that, you know, if you should educate us, you would already know that we would know our powers. And when we know our powers, then we would be like unstoppable. So, of course, they kept, you know, back then black people ignorant and things like that. So I said, you know, just my storage keep filling up but i'm not saying this to like bring about like racism or to bring about like steering up my comments i'm saying this because it's facts like my ancestors like we weren't you know some people you know they may have been educated in certain aspects but to be given that full like granted that full same education and all of that that their counterparts were getting in that was not the thing so because I know that and because I know that there's so many who've done so much for me to be here this day, so many who didn't get the opportunity that I'm now afforded to be able to sit amongst other people who are not of my race, who are not of me, you know, like, and be able to be in a classroom without the constant, you go sit on this side, you go sit on this racism still exists. It does. I would be literally naive and um, to be naive and to be ignorant of the fact that racism still exists is, is huge. So... For you to sit here and act like you don't know that's why somebody was being a colorist the other day and said something that i can't remember the exact comment but basically the comment was to compliment me what but was to um um kind of shun somebody else but we both black so by you giving me a light skin compliment that does not compliment me that's disrespectful and i'm like you know you're being just you're, you're a colorist within your own race and colorism racism all those things still exist but if you should be honest with yourself we're able for the most part to just be sitting in the classroom amongst white people black people people like each other people don't we're not really well i haven't really had to deal with the go sit on this go sit on that side. i've never had teachers who i felt like were racist to where when you be seeing these news um, articles where it's like oh this teacher said this to this kid or did this to this kid 
I did I was blessed to not experience those in my school experiences. I feel like my white professors and teachers and stuff like that, they were never they never exemplified racism in front of me. So to me, our classes were normal. Um so to be able to be amongst those types of situations these days was not a common thing then. So for me, education is always gonna be at the forefront. Like you're gonna find me checking out a book, buying a book, online ordering a book. I'm gonna stay educated. Because one thing that people cannot take from you is they cannot take what your knowledge is. That's why even I tell my nephew, or I was telling somebody's daughter the other day, um, and son, I said, you know, focus on this. Because when you get to college, if you get them academic scholarships, the only thing that's going to keep you from being on an academic scholarship is by dropping them GPAs and not having this. But you get a sports scholarship, the minute you break something, then they take the whole full ride away from you because what good are you to the team if you are if you got a broken leg? How can you run the football if your leg is broke? But if you're in a classroom, your leg can be broke, but who's going to take your mind? So you got to think about it like that. Your mind is one of the most, the, the, the mind is one of the most powerful tools on the body. It is so infinite, right? Um, it's just a storage. It's like, you know, unlimited gig, uh, unlimited database, you know, unlimited data. You're just constantly storing things, you know, all these disks, all this memory in your head. And it's like, who's going to take that away from you? So, in the end of the day, you got to start seeing yourself and believing that you're an asset. Once you understand that asset isn't only referring to how much money do you have in the bank, what do you have in stocks, an asset can be you. What can you bring to a business? What can you bring to this company, this development? What can you bring to anything? And if you can look at yourself and be able to... If, if I know that you hire me to go sell your cars and I can tell you that in six months I'm about to sell six figures worth of cars, that's an asset. I know that I'm adding value. Um, if you tell me that, hey, we don't sell, we only sell year and a half, then it's almost like if I know that every year and a half, you're, you guys are able to sell per person $100,000 worth of inventory from one salesman and I can do that in six months. And doesn't that tell you that in a year and a half, I'm able to sell three times the amount that you guys are able to produce in a year and a half? That is a form of an asset because you can bring value to a company. You know what I mean? You want to be an asset, never a liability. You want to add value. Liabilities don't add value. They take away value. Liability, liable, right? You want to be an asset. You want to add value. And adding value, like I said, is not only a monetary thing. Adding value could be from the form of you. So I know this video was a little bit long. I've literally talked my gums off, talked your ears off. But I hope you guys understand some of the things that I did within the next 30 days. Uh, or within the last 30 days, not too long ago, of bossing up and becoming the better version of myself. And then also, I hope you guys listen to some of the tips that I want to accomplish by the end of the month. So I think that this was a combination of what I did in 30 days. Um, to boss up and become the better version of myself and get the goals that I set and as well as also telling you guys what I'm gonna be doing to accomplish more goals this month I hope you guys are enjoying the content I've been getting great feedback from the community post from the actual YouTube post from Instagram for DMs in person on reels y'all have just really been supportive and I appreciate it so if you're new here hi welcome to the channel I am super glad that you joined Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll have a vlog going up today, and I also will have this video that's going to go up. It's just going to talk about my boss up. I feel like I'm supposed to film another video, but I'm at least doing those two today, and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.